my name is Peter Higgins and welcome to the IBD School 300 series. In this episode, IBD School 307, we'll talk about the antibiotic ciprofloxacin, or as it is known by its brand name, Cipro. Cipro is an antibiotic used to treat many different kinds of infections. For example, infections of the urinary tract, the sinuses, the prostate, and the bones are commonly treated with ciprofloxacin. When we are treating IBD, we often use Cipro for treating infections of the gut. Cipro treats aerobic bacteria and is often paired with the drug metronidazole, also known as Flagyl, which treats anaerobic bacteria, so that together they eliminate all unwanted bacteria in the gut. Cipro can be used for fighting traveler's diarrhea, or E. coli, as well as abscesses, fistulas, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, or your run-of-the-mill infectious diarrhea. Cipro comes in tablets taken by mouth, taken two to three times a day for one to two weeks for a typical bacterial infection of the gut. A typical dose ranges from 250 to 750 milligrams. Cipro is generally well tolerated and is popular because it does not have a lot of immediate side effects. However, there are some. For example, any antibiotic killing lots of gut bacteria will make it more likely that a patient may get a C. diff infection. Cipro can also weaken the tendons and is likely to increase the risk of tendon rupture. So if you are taking Cipro and notice pain or weakness in a joint or muscle, it is important to go easy on exercise and get it evaluated by a medical professional. This risk is increased for people taking steroids with Cipro. Patients who have decreased kidney function will need to take lower doses of Cipro because the medicine will not clear the body as quickly, meaning the longer it lingers, the more likely it is to cause harmful side effects. With less medication, this effect will be less severe. Cipro can interact dangerously with a treatment for emphysema called theophylline. So if you're taking theophylline, you should not take Cipro. Cipro has no dangerous effects when combined with alcohol. It is uncommon, but Cipro can occasionally cause headache, nausea, rash, diarrhea, or abnormal liver test results. Cipro and Flagyl are two medications generally used to treat pouchitis, inflammation due to bacteria in a J pouch. A lot of patients prefer taking Cipro to Flagyl because it has fewer side effects. Cipro is often prescribed with Flagyl in order to reduce a patient's risk of getting a C. diff infection. One should try to avoid Cipro during pregnancy as it is category C. So avoiding this drug during pregnancy is preferred. Cipro, however, is considered compatible with breastfeeding, though the risks and benefits need to be considered before starting the medication. If you are taking Cipro in breastfeeding, there is a somewhat increased risk that the infant will get Clostridium difficile. Ask your doctor about ciprofloxacin and whether or not it might be the best medication for your particular infection. I'm Peter Higgins, and thank you for watching IBD School.